What's up guys, I'm Mike from Stocked Up. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to pick the right strike prices for options trading and just a couple other general tips I use when selecting options to trade. Now I just wanna start off by saying there is no science, there's no right or wrong strike to pick. It's more of an art form that the more you trade and the more you know you just the more knowledge and experience you have with options trading the more natural this will become. So to start off, um, the, gen the general rule of thumb, um, it really depends on what strategy you're deploying. So in, we're just gonna assume that in this video, you are only trading naked options, not spreads. So if you're only trading naked options, follow these steps. So first you want to pick a stock. So let's go, let's go with Coca-Cola, right? Now a general rule of thumb is you want to give yourself time. Like right now, if you think Coca-Cola is gonna go down to let's say $53, right? And it might go down to $53, but you're gonna pay $19 for that option, which isn't bad, but you only have three days left of this option. You have Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. And you can be completely right on your prediction, but still lose money if Coca-Cola takes a day to go down or takes a couple days to go down. So a general rule of thumb, Give yourself time when you're buying options. And when I say that, I would mean at least, I would say at least five to 15 days. That's like a, that's a nice sweet spot. So either go one to two, maybe three uh, expirations out. That's a general rule of thumb, but uh, that, that'll definitely get the job done. And more importantly, uh, protect yourself. So in terms of picking strike prices, like let's say we went with the October 18th Coca-Cola put options, right? So if, if you're looking for a big gain in like generally, this is what you wanna do if you're buying naked options. So you, you want to, if you're on thinkorswim, you just wanna find the expected value. To do that, if you're on thinkorswim, you can look right here, it says plus or minus 2.01. Uh, so that means if you want the stock to go down, subtract two from 50, $53.58, which is the current price, if you think Coca-Cola is gonna go up, add $2 to $53.58. So what that's gonna do is it's just gonna put you at the first standard deviation of expected moves. All this means in English is that pretty much if Coca-Cola does what you want it to do and you're at or farther than the, the first standard deviation, you're gonna see a really nice return. But if you're inside the first standard deviation, yes, you're gonna see a great return, but it's, you're, there's like a big, there's a big drop off at the first standard deviation. Now, if we go, so if we look at a real life example, if we went to Coca-Cola and we thought it was gonna go down, add up the at the money call and the at the money put. So I'm gonna add up the $53.50 call, which is about 100 bucks, and add up the $53.50 put, which is 90 bucks. 100 plus 90 is 190. So 190 is close enough to two. So take $53.58, subtract 190, and you're gonna get 51.68. So that means I wanna pick a strike price around this. So I can go up 51.50 or just 52. So if Coca-Cola goes in the direction I want, then this option is going to explode. You know, it depends on the time and, and stuff like that with it. but uh, in this example, I would go with the 52 strike option because one, it's a whole number, so it's gonna be more uh, more liquid. And then two, it's closer to the money. So that's what I would go with. Um, it's that simple. So if you wanted a play that's, you could say more safe, you could go you could go within the first standard deviation. So you could go, instead of the 52 strike, you could go the $52.50, the 53, or the $53.50. Further out of the further out of the first standard deviation of expected moves would be 51, 50, 51, 50.5, and 50. Um, you get the point. Look, it's not that complicated. There's no right or wrong strike to pick. It's just just know that if you're without if you're outside the first standard deviation, you're going to see a bigger percent return. But of course, that carries more risk. In a general rule of thumb, buy more time and and you know don't overthink it. Don't like you don't have to measure standard deviations just calculate it and you know just just eye it out like i said it's not a science at all um i just eye out all my trades pretty much um i make sure i have time and i look to sell spreads against them so if you have any questions let me know in the comments down below but other than that thanks for watching